Hi, it's Karen Capello, and our question today is, can you help someone uh, achieve success in an area where you have not achieved the same success? It's really a good question because most of the time people will hire coaches based upon their own successes. You know, if I've had success in business, people want to hire me to be their coach. If uh, someone's had success in uh, losing 10 pounds, that last 10 pounds, people want to hire them for that. And, and the truth is, we know this as coaches, is that coaching is such a special methodology and that the client is the, um, is the expert in their own lives. So in a way, it would be even better if we had no success in that area or no knowledge of that area and that we could help the clients. Uh, so, so that is the truth. And yet they do hire us because of our expertise. So I'll give you a quick story that, that I thought was kind of funny. You know, I'm not a golfer. I do know a lot of golfers. My dad golfed a lot. Uh, my mother did or in the early days. And uh, one of my dad's friends contacted me and said, could you help me with my golf game? And I had just become a coach. So I said, well, coaching can help with a lot of different things. Let's try it out. And so he came on the line and he started talking to me about um, his short game and his long game. And, and I didn't even know what these were, but his long game, he was really good at, but his short game, he wasn't as doing as well as he wanted. So, um, so I said to him, what do you do in your long game that you're not doing in your short game? And he thought about it and he said, you know, when I'm walking or when I'm, at, when I'm um, even in the house, I'll stop and put my body in a, in a certain stance for golf and I'll do a shadow swing. I'll pretend I have a, a club in my hand and I'll swing. So I'll practice my swing like that. And I said, have you practiced it on short game? And he said, no, I haven't. So I said, why don't you try that? And he also said, when I'm on my short game, I, I tend to tense up. I'm, I'm feeling really, um, I, I can feel it in, in my bones when, I, when I'm on that short game. So I said, well, what, what relaxes you? And right away he said, my grandchildren. I love my grandchildren. And I said, well, before you go, and by the way, the short game is the putting part of golf, just in case you didn't know, and the long game is the driving. But I said, before you get on the putting green, just take a moment, take a breath, and think about your grandchildren and bring up a memory of them that you really love. And he said, okay, I'll do it. So it's kind of funny because the next day he calls me and he says, oh my gosh, I had the best short game I've ever had in my life. So he just tried these two things and he knew about them. So the reason I tell you this story is if you have somebody that wants to coach with you and you haven't exactly accomplished what they've accomplished, just remember, you'll be able to help them. And if you tell them coaching is a very specific methodology and I've been, you know, I've been trained to do this, to ask questions and to find your most creative answers to your uh, challenges that you're facing, I don't have to know what those challenges are. The fact that you know about it is, is the most important thing. If you do share something like that, uh, you may get a new client and it may open your eyes up to a, a whole new uh, place in your life. Now I know a little bit more about golf, although um, I, I really am not a golfer still. <laughs> it didn't bring me into the game. But I was really excited to see that coaching helped even though I didn't know what he was talking about at the beginning. So that's our tip for today. Uh, I really, really appreciate you being here with me and being a coach in this world. And I know there are people who need your talents, whether you've accomplished something or not. So get out there and coach. We have some great, great resources at coachkarenrecommends.com. Some are free, some are uh, cost something, but check out the page and um, keep, keep here with me on YouTube. I'll be sending more and more tips as time goes on. So signing off for now with a lot of, uh, of love and great joy and wishing you success with ease and joy.